Hi everyone, it's me again. I want to talk about how to design products with AI. If you're a product designer, do consider using AI to take your design work to the next level. I don't believe that product designers are going to be replaced by AI anytime soon, but I do believe that designers who can utilize AI effectively to get better results will be more employable in future. Hi, I'm Phil. I'm a seasoned designer with over 20 years experience developing new products. I've launched my own product range with John Lewis and I've helped hundreds of businesses and startups to successfully develop and launch their products as well. AI or artificial intelligence can revolutionize the way you design products, but there's very little information about it at the moment. And so I'm going to share my experiences to hopefully give you a head start. How do I use AI to design products? What I basically do is use mainly ChatGPT and Midjourney. I create some prompts and then I use the AI to come up with various different concepts, often to inspire me to combine different things or bring in additional features. And then with all of that, I can define the concept with the client much more clearly. But rather than spending a lot of time myself sketching, I'm using the AI to do a lot of that and make the process so much quicker. And frankly, AI can produce a far higher quality of sketch work than I can anyway. Let's take an example, designing a new child's nightlight. I would probably start in mid-journey. I'll stick in some prompts around child's nightlight, creative child's nightlight, new ideas for child's nightlight, and see what it throws up. I would then go into ChatGPT and produce some more complex prompts. Just to explain a little bit more why I use ChatGPT and not just put the prompts into mid-journey. Without it, here's what I get. It's not quite as inspiring, frankly, and it's easier to talk to ChatGPT and say things like, it needs to be more creative, and then get a new prompt for mid-journey. And you can see here the examples of me using that and the outputs that come from mid-journey as a result. The chaos prompt in mid-journey is also pretty critical to my process. Chaos values go from naught to 100, with 100 being really random and far out concepts, whereas in theory, zero being much more run-of-the-mill standard concepts without much variation. And you can see some examples here of, kind of chaos five and chaos 90 on the child's nightlight and the differences you get. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon get all notifications about our latest videos. It's worth saying that every time you put something like this into AI, you get a different result. So it's never gonna be the same as exactly what I'm producing on screen if you're gonna plug these prompts in. But this is really just to give you a direction and an idea of how to use AI more effectively to give you a broader range of concepts. I'll just share a few more of the prompts that I use now as well. So in mid-journey, I use dash dash AR 16 semicolon nine, that just changes the aspect ratio to make sure it's better for use in presentations or for emailing or for use in videos like this. I find the prompt multiple angles is very useful in terms of getting it to generate multiple different concepts within the same render. And then I can change what I want in terms of style. I like using blue pencil outline on white paper, for example, it gives this really nice effect with the sketch work and just means that then I'm presenting sketches as opposed to presenting actual full photorealistic renders, which is better at the early stage where you're trying to ensure that the client appreciates it's not a final product and there's still a long way to go before it's finished. Once I have a few promising concepts, I can share directly with the client or work up in Photoshop or on a tablet so it's something that's more realistic for production. Don't get me wrong, there's no way AI produces fantastic production-ready, user-friendly concepts. It definitely needs some additional input from a good product designer, but these underlays can massively speed up the sketching process and also ensure that actually more inspiration is fed into the concepts and giving more variety in the ideas I come up with. Before we get into the next bit, if you're a product designer and your team needs more capacity or skill sets that your in-house team don't have, then please do check out my company D2M. There's a link in the description below. Now what I need to do really is work with the client to define the style that they want to take forward for the product. And again, I use AI to do that. So using Midjourney, I can create style and mood boards using this type of prompt. I find the Remix tool within Midjourney absolutely critical. 
it means I can basically take an output from mid-journey, add in further detail or remove certain prompts to get images more like what I need. Here's some examples again with the prompts used of these mood boards. With the style direction defined and the concept clarified, my use of AI diminishes, but it means that there's a whole heap more clarity before going into CAD and prototyping. If I was to pull together mood boards and sketch loads of ideas, it might take me days, whereas using my AI assistant, actually I could probably get all of this done now within a morning. Now, AI can't design a product that's gonna be perfect for manufacturing, it's gonna be cost effective, that it's gonna be great for the user, but what it can do basically is bottom out this brief really quickly so that then I can get on and design something that I know is in line with the client's vision, that's the right style, and then incorporate all of those key other factors like the ergonomics and the market insight and everything else at that stage as well. For the rest of the process, AI is less involved. There are generative design tools and things that could be useful, and there are AI tools as well that could be useful in terms of FEA. I sometimes use AI to help create the necessary text descriptions for a product, draft emails to clients, and Midjourney is useful for producing background images for contexts that don't have any copyright. So in conclusion, AI has enabled me to really speed up that initial part of the process. And I also get better presented ideas because AI is doing a lot of that sketch work for me. I'm really interested to know how you are using AI to design products more effectively. Please do comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.